So the other day I was scrolling through Facebook, you know, as you do, and an ad popped up for Wish.com. Wish.com is an online marketplace where vendors, normally from the Middle East and China, to somebody from China, list their items at often very cheap prices and there are some weird and wonderful things on there. Say what? However, an ad popped up for an 80cc two-stroke bicycle engine, so I conceded to the targeted marketing and I purchased the engine. It cost me £76.68 with shipping and as the engine had come from China, or so I, I had thought, the estimated delivery was around one month. However, it arrived four days later. There is nowhere on the box with a sender address, however, I did find UK WH H2, which I can only assume stands for UK warehouse number two. Anyway, I'm not too sure if Ribble would be too happy if I potentially destroyed one of their bikes by mounting a two-stroke 80cc totally legit engine on there. So first things first, we needed a bike. So I'm at my grandma's house and it's basically like a bike graveyard here. All of my old bikes are here. I'm just getting all the stuff set up. <laughs> I've got all these old bikes here, but I reckon this is the one. My old GT Avalanche 3.0. I think this is the winner. I think this is going to be the perfect bike to use for this mission. All right, so this is the box. Let's see what we've got inside it. First things first, we've got an instruction manual. That's always good. Some sort of fairing. Oh, here's the exhaust. Chain, spark plugs, some sort of electronics. Chain tensioner, random bits of hardware. Cable, clutch, and I guess some kind of like fuel pump apparatus. I don't really know. The fuel tank, finally. The Pierre a la resistance. The thing that makes all of this happen. All right, first off, we've got, we've got this hell of a chain ring. The carburetor and some, some throttle grips in there. Ugh. Mate, right, this thing is gonna make the bike so heavy, honestly. The 80cc, or the claimed 80cc engine. So me being me, you know, eager beaver and all that, first thing I wanted to do was get the engine on the bike. It looked absolutely sick. I didn't read the instructions. I didn't look at anything. I just went straight to the step where you mount the engine to the frame and I quickly realized I ran into a bit of a problem. Turns out the down tube was a little bit too fat for the engine mount threads. Long story short, it didn't fit. All right, I've got something that I think is gonna be a little bit more suitable. The only downside is we've got slick tires, so we can't really take it on the trails, like off-road. Maybe if this thing all works, maybe if it's successful, I'll, I'll buy a pair of knobblies that we can stick on this. But it's got a nice thin down tube which we'll be able to fit the engine on, and hopefully it's strong enough. What? All right, full, um, full disclosure here. I've never built a motorbike before. I, I, I'm a cyclist. I, I ride bikes, I'm not a mechanic. But right here, included with the engine, we've had the fitting instructions. Step one, there are two rear sprocket rubber packers. Cut one of them and only one. Cut only between the drilled holes. Place the cut one inside of the spokes. Uh, okay, what am I doing? So this is where we ran into issue number two. You can probably feel a little bit of a theme coming along here. Basically the flanges on the hub were too wide and we couldn't screw the bolts in that would hold the chain ring on. Thankfully though I managed to find another wheel. The only issue is it's for a road bike. That means the axle is slightly wider, but hey, we made it work. Icon. Been cold with the vibe warm. Keep it locked like the vice arm. They got her twisted like the coat arm. Heart something froze like the snowstorm. Her toe bag matched the throat charm. She from the land of the sand where they flex so subtle when I drink. Mint muddle left home in her man. In the game that he played for the sand in the shade. She parades you to swear in her shades. She like why you do that. Why she so deceptive. Young, pretty restless. Long as the check is addressed to a residence. She sell pill therapy. She beat till I'm clearer because she shopping for clarity. Reap what she sold for the dividend. No more time is. Okay, so that is the engine attached to the frame. It is like super heavy right now. I don't know if this frame's gonna be strong enough. Like it feels like at any time it's just gonna 
crack and snap and just fall in half. But at the minute, it looks all right. The next step is we've got to put on the clutch lever and the throttle for the uh, for the rip and rev. And I don't think that's going to be possible with, with like drop handlebars. However, because this is the, uh, the bike graveyard, we've got this bike here with some straight, some kind of flat handlebars. We've also got this one with some slightly longer bars. I think we're going to go for the shorter ones. Being caught with the vibe one. Keep it locked like the vice arm. They got a two set like the coat arm. Heart stuck and froze like the snowstorm. Her toe bag matched the throat charm. She found a lid. Issue number three. The bars weren't wide enough to fit the full length of the grip on. Back to the graveyard. So I've just realized that um, the engine comes with some kind of like extension mount. So you can put it on a frame with a fatter down tube. That means we can actually fit it indeed on the mountain bike. So um, we've got a little bit of an issue here. I managed to bend, I managed to bend one of the, one of the bolts and I can't think of any other way to, to get it off. All right, let's do it. Okay, so kind of like a bit of a half time midway through update for you right now. We've got the bars on, we've got the clutch on, we've got the accelerator to throttle the engines obviously attached to the bike we've got a chain ring on the rear hub we've got the chain on the chain tensioner pulley type thing we're making good progress now we need to put the fuel tank on the top we need to connect the wiring connect the kill switch that's important connect the carburetor finally the exhaust pipe and then we think we're pretty much good to go and we can get this thing out into the road <laughs> And that is the bike pretty much built. The man and her webbers do, I swear she. She's so sadistic, defensive, pessimistic, reclusive. She too lit, independent. She too quick to dismiss courtship, concerned with malice. She pile up as the bout in. She throws a talent. She clutch a half full chalice. If you from fountains, check a rap. She sick, maneuver mountains, I. I just need to tidy the cables up a little bit, but uh. I think first things first is get the thing started, make sure it's all working, make sure there's no issues, and then we'll then we'll think about the aesthetics a little bit, but time to mix some fuel. So according to the trusty instruction manual, the mix ratio for this two-stroke engine is 16 to one. We've got five liters of petrol here, which means we need 313 milliliters of, uh, of oil. So here, here we go. Now I'm gonna try and get it started. Apparently there's no pull cord or kickstart or anything. You just, you, you start it by, by going forward. So let's give it a try. A uh, slight little teething problem. I think I found, I think I've worked out what the issue is. When we move forward, just the, um, like the, the middle bits moving that these cogs on the outside aren't, and that's what's gonna start the motor. Basically, I think this flower bolt isn't on tight enough. Flower bolt tightened, and we are ready to rumble. You might be thinking at this stage, why don't you just pedal the bicycle instead of running by the side of it, you nutter? Well, as this wheel had come from the bicycle graveyard, often or not, some parts are missing. In this case, it had no cassette, but we've got a motorbike now. We don't need a cassette. Oh my God, it started. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I ran up and down my nan's yard about 200 times. Probably did a marathon trying to get this engine started. It would start for a couple of seconds, splutter, and then just die out until finally. What a chaff. I built a motorbike and it works.
Okay, so obviously we're starting to lose the light right now, uh, but let's get the bike out. Let's take it for a spin. I've got the GoPro. Let's get some POV action right now. Obviously, you should always wear, you should always wear protection, innit? This is a private road, so I'm not breaking any rules. I'm not breaking any laws. So apparently like during the braking period and everything you're only supposed to go to half throttle otherwise otherwise you blow the engine so I'm being pretty careful but we're still getting some pretty solid speeds I think So according to my Wahoo, our max speed was 46.7 kilometers per hour. Like I said, we're still breaking this thing in. Apparently we've got to do four tanks worth of fuel before we can really open her up and see what she's made of. But if you want to see more videos on this bike, or maybe we even buy a mountain bike and mount it onto there and take it onto some trails, or I don't know, like and subscribe. <laughs> Wash, shit, I just let me